there Lindsay here this weekend we're working on the goat barn that's what I'm about to get out there and do it's cold for Arkansas probably warmer for everybody else I think it's like 58 degrees or so um wish that's freezing for us we have put a deadline for ourselves to make 12 um 12 trusses before we have lunch so 10 o'clock already so we're gonna go out there and make 12 tresses and then come in and make ourselves some lunch and then we'll have to go get our roofing but our goal is to get as much done as possible this weekend on the goat barn and because uh, we have to get this project wrapped up it's starting to get very cold and the goats need a place that is wind resistant <laughs> so I'm about to go out and get started the kids are at my mom's but I thought I would just uh, take you along on our weekend festivities for the weekend. Jay's already got the goats out. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. We were able to find a local, a local man who mills wood. Now he's a one man show, but uh, we won't be paying $7 a board for two by fours. He cut all of these for us and it's less than half the price of what the store has them for. So um, we are doing our house in very small stages. So hopefully he will be able to keep up with us and help us with that too. But for now we got this for the goat barn to kind of try out the wood. It seems very, very good, well milled and um, good stuff. So really happy about that. We may, uh, See if we can find a backup in case he's not able to keep up with us but I'm really happy i found him because we can help him out and he's helping us out a whole lot <laughs> so it's always better when you can support a local business we've got a couple of two foot pieces measured out left over from cutting the walls down a little bit so we've got those laying over there and we're going to use two of our eight foot boards and sandwich that two foot in and then put braces on each side so since we have a 16 foot opening and our trailer only hoods holds eight foot boards we make it work somehow and that's what we're gonna do no children to step in poop no children means high productivity <laughs> so now that we've counted out our two foot boards we're just going to cut these eight foots in half these will be for the braces we'll just need so we're gonna need three eight foot boards and one of the two foot for every truss that we do so 12 trusses let's see how fast we can do it we never seem to get older when things are going right you seem to have the time but when it's hard you just grow cold up we should be good but we'll keep lighting fires the words you be because we're scared of the silence we should be but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves We should be good, but we keep lighting fires The words repeat cause we're scared of the silence We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves It's deja vu
started fires The words you be cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep out of fire We keep on talking and talking Talking and talking For them, well, most of them. And the 12 more I ordered. Ash is just benefiting from our kindness at this point. I'm about to make lunch, so I've got some bacon going for Jay's sandwich. I got some turkey, so he's gonna have turkey and bacon with lettuce. And I thought I'd show you how to make this panini because I've mentioned it a couple times and everybody's like, ooh, that sounds good, so. Uh, I've just got some brie cheese, some blackberry jelly, and some turkey. I usually do have some really thinly sliced apples, but I haven't gone to get our fresh fruit uh, for December yet, so we don't have any apples, but it's really, really better with thinly sliced apples on it, so, but it's good this way too. Wanna wake up, I might be dreaming I might be dreaming You're stirring things up, my heart is beating My heart is beating I won't let go, I can't say no My heart is yours, so I say here we go So it's been raining for the last day or so, but we got the, look at this turd. We got the trusses put up there. So now we just have to kind of cap the ends and cut those off. Rude. My battery went dead. But like I was saying, it's been raining, so we didn't go get the metal for the roof. Um, so, but we are working on it. It's further than it was uh, before the weekend, so. All we have to do is cap that ridge, cut off the excess on the back end. We bought a pile of scraps that he had for like $10, <laughs> a big old pile. So it had a lot of good two by fours that we were actually, actually able to use don't mind all the mess dogs for you he's just playing 
He wants to play. He wants to do that. He wants to play. Ugh. You can see we had a 16 inch span and we had uh, two by eight. So we just cut some of them in half and kind of braced the middle really well. And some of our boards were a little warped. But off the back end, you can see that we had some that were a little bit longer than others. So what we'll just have to do is snap a chalk line and cut those off so everybody's even back here. And then cap that and throw our metal roofing on. We are gonna get metal roofing. And as for the siding, we're gonna, I think we're gonna use the cedar. So I can go ahead and start on this side siding it as long as I don't go too far. Isn't that right, pet pet? Are you ready to have your are you ready to have your barn built? Are you ready? Oh Miss Pris. Miss Pris. We need to cut all this extra metal, but we were waiting until the barn's done because we're gonna open up the fencing so it attaches on each side and we have a door here. We're gonna cut all this out, but that's the doorway right there. That's uh, to be continued, but um, tonight, the kids don't know that we're going to take them to a drive-through Christmas light thing. It's December 1st, as I'm filming this. <laughs> so they have no idea that we're gonna take them. All he thinks we're taking him to a babysitter because I packed up a bag. He's never been to a babysitter, so he wouldn't even know what that's like. But he's really upset because he thinks we're taking him to a babysitter. But I packed up some hot cocoa and some snacks and some gingerbread cookies. And we're going to go take them to see lights. Well, the lights were kind of a bust. I don't know what that capital got down there, but the lights ain't it. Um, I think that the tree was broken or something because they had a tree lit up down there, but. The government's broken. <laughs> the government's broken. <laughs> Maybe they ran out of funds for the holiday tree light. I don't know. Ollie, I couldn't tell if he was having a good time or not. The holidays aren't the cheeriest time for us the last couple of years have been very hard because we've been without jay's mom and the holidays have always reminded me of my grandpa uh, that i lost when i was younger and now this year we don't have my grandpa and also jay's grandpa died the last couple years so we don't have him so we've lost a lot and the holidays remind us of that because that's when you know we would get together and spend extended time with them and um, 
So that's, it's always been a damper. And I know that there's a lot of you out there who don't have family for the holidays or who do have, you know, feelings of depression or anxiety around this time of year. And so I just want to say before all the holiday festivity things start that I understand because I have the same feelings. I've had a lot of the same feelings that you have, I'm sure. But I have noticed that Ollie is not super cheery either. So I feel like a lot of my feelings I've accidentally passed down to him. And that's not something that I want for him. I want him to have the fun, happy memories of Christmas like I did when I was growing up. Because my mom was excellent at all the festive Christmas things. She, that was one thing she was really great at was making sure that we had memories to look back on like tea parties and Christmas cookies and Christmas lights and hot cocoa and all that stuff. So that's something I want to get better at doing because I don't want Ollie to be a Grinch. I want him to be happy and jolly and feel like this is a really fun time of year. So I'm going to have to get better about it. But for all that, I just want to say that's where all it stems from is the last couple years have just been really hard but this year we're gonna try to I wouldn't even say move past it but just be aware of it and let ourselves feel the feelings but also try not to bring Ollie down with me <laughs> it's okay to feel the feelings but I just want to make this time of year special for him and maybe in doing that uh, I'll feel a little less sad we'll see we finally got a little work done on the goat barn. Did a little festive thing and um, who knows what tomorrow will bring us, but that's all for tonight. We're gonna try some holiday lights. We are gonna try that holiday light thing again, for sure. What are you doing? What do you want? What do you want? Crazy dog. But thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. I'm out of time.